Christiane, Johnny, Nusselin Vollard, born on the October 20, 1942, is a German developmental biologist and a 1995 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine laureate. She is the only woman from Germany to have received a Nobel Prize in the sciences. Nusselin Vollard earned her Ph.D. in 1974 from the University of Tübingen, where she studied protein-DNA interaction. She won the Albert Losker Award for Basic Medical Research in 1991 and the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1995, together with Eric Wieskaus and Edward B. Lewis, for their research on the genetic control of embryonic development. Nusselin Vollard was born in Magdeburg on October 20, 1942, the second of five children to Rolf Vollard, an architect, and Brigitte Haas Vollard, a nursery school teacher. She has four siblings, three sisters and one brother. She grew up and went to school in South Frankfurt, exposed to art and music and thus was trained in looking at things and recognizing things. Her great-grandfather was the chemist Jacob Vollard, her grandfather the known internist Franz Vollard. She is the aunt of the Nobel laureate in chemistry Benjamin List. After the abattoir in 1962, she briefly considered pursuing medicine, but dropped the idea after doing a month's nursing course in a hospital. Instead she followed her genuine interest and opted to study biology at Johann Wolfgang Goethe University in Frankfurt. In 1964 Nusselin Vollard left Frankfurt for the University of Tübingen, to start a new course in biochemistry. She originally wanted to do behavioral biology, but then somehow I ended up in biochemistry and molecular genetics because at the time this was the most modern aspect, and I was ambitious, I wanted to go where the leaders were. The old-fashioned botanists and zoologists were such dull people, there was nothing interesting there. She received a diploma in biochemistry in 1969 and earned a Ph.D. in 1974 for research into protein-DNA interactions and the binding of RNA polymerase in Escherichia coli. In 1975 Nusselin Vollard became a postdoctoral researcher in Walter Gehring's laboratory at the Biozentrum, University of Basel a specialist in the developmental biology of Drosophila melanogaster, fruit fly, supported by a long-term fellowship from the European Molecular Biology Organization, EMBO. In 1977, she continued in the laboratory of Klaus Sander at University of Freiburg, who was an expert in embryonic patterning. In 1978, she set up her own lab in the newly founded European Molecular Biology Laboratory in Heidelberg with Eric Wieskaus, whom she had met in Basel. Over the next three years they examined about 20,000 mutated fly families, collected about 600 mutants with an altered body pattern, and found that out of the about 5,000 essential genes only 120 were essential for early development. In October 1980, they published the mere 15 genes controlling the segmented pattern of the Drosophila larva. In 1981, Nusselin Vollard moved to the Friedrich Miescher Laboratory of the Max Planck Society in Tübingen. From 1984 until her retirement in 2014, she was the director of the Max Planck Institute for Developmental Biology in Tübingen and also led its genetics department. After 1984 she launched work on the developmental biology of vertebrates, using the zebrafish, Danio rario, as her research model. In 2001, she became a member of the Nationaler Ethikrat, National Ethics Council of Germany, for the ethical assessment of new developments in the life sciences and their influence on the individual and society. Her primer for the lay reader, Coming to Life, How Genes Drive Development, was published in April 2006. In 2004, she started the Christiane Nusselin Vollard Foundation, Christiane Nusselin Vollard Stiftung, which aids promising young female German scientists with children. The foundation's main focus is to facilitate childcare as a supplement to existing stipends and day care. Thanks for watching her story channel. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel.